Alrighty guys, Azdik here, bringing you guys another Dragon Ball Legends video. This one's going to be a bit of a special video right here, since we are going to be heading in to the new year. Happy New Year's, Happy New Year's Eve, all of that good stuff. We are going to be doing a free-to-play box showcase. So I, I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys think this is the best free-to-play account in the world? I don't know if it's the best in the world, but I think it's pretty damn good, right? So we can actually go ahead, before we hop into the box showcase, let's go ahead and take a look at how long we've actually been playing the game for. All right, so we scroll down right here. We can take a look at our play history. The total days logged in is 1,177 days of legends. You know, honestly, I think one of the only kind of like regrets sort of of my channel, of this channel overall, is that I wasn't able to share this journey with you guys right from the jump, right? Because I didn't start making YouTube videos until the second anniversary of the game, but I have been playing since day one. You can see in PvP, my highest battle rank reached was rank 70, which is the god rank right here, right? And this title, you guys can notice I never changed this title. And the reason for that being is that this title actually means a lot to me right weirdly enough is because the the way i got this title was i did a challenge like way 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 back in the day where i wanted to get into the top cut using only super warriors this is before super warriors had any kind of zenkai or anything like that it was just the og3 the ex krillin ex tian and the ex yamcha right so I, that's why i always have this title on it means a lot to me right because that was like one of the first like big accomplishments for me at the time right so that being said let's go ahead and get right into the box showcase right here all right so now i have my box pulled up and you know i have it filtered by power level and only by sparkings and ultra units right because I, i'm sure like extreme units aren't that impactful the only extreme unit i'm um, spoiler alert the only extreme unit that i am missing is that that new mine that just came out on the trunks banner right the red one but let's go ahead and dive right into it for zenkai's there's not going to be too much of a difference here i made one of these videos basically around the same time last year um and you know because just because of the fact that zenkai's are now free going forward there hasn't been an increase in my zenkai units overall right because basically the only new one that we have right here is this janemba and you know uh, although I, I used to because i used to I actually because i spent cc on this this zenkai right here i spent 7k on him and you know after that once they started pumping them out for free i kind of just stopped doing it even i think once they even started putting in the just the two levels for free remember they introduced the two levels for free and then you would have to just spend the the rest of the cc on the banner i stopped uh, i stopped zenkaiing right there because i already had the feeling that they were going to start pumping them out for free so i want i didn't want to waste any currency on that aspect right but we can go ahead and keep scrolling down right here we have the ultra omega 14 stars we have the super saiyan 3 goku at zenkai 7 i think that i did get that this year we have some of the free to play unit pretty much all the free to play units are going to be maxed out right here jiren this, i have a lot of history with this jiren i still can't believe honestly i'm surprised that he's not 14 stars just yet we could honestly probably get him there pretty soon but I, I pulled this guy like way too many times to count. He almost got 14 starred on his initial banner. I think that's the closest unit I ever got to just, or well, not hit this Broly actually probably takes the cake. He's, he's a little bit closer and he just came out. Right. And so he's right there on the cusp of being 14 stars. Uh, these banners treated me really nicely. Right. And so we just go ahead and keep going down. I also got this DBS freeze of the 14 stars due to these banners and this angel Vegeta is another one that I'm kind of proud of. He's almost at 14 stars as well. He only needs 1,000 more Z power. This unit is still very good to this day, right? I can definitely still find a lot of uses for him. And, you know, we got the Kaba Zenkai. I got him to four stars because I was doing dailies on his CC band. I think that's the only thing with the, the, the Zenkais is that I don't mind doing dailies on their Zenkai banners, right? Just that where it's only 20 CC because I think that's not a bad deal at all. Uh, we have this free-to-play 1,000-day Bulma, right, at 14 stars. I, I Honestly, she, she's a lot of fun to play with, too. This new Zamasu right here. Also, at Red Star 4, man, like I'm telling you guys, these being able to get these these units like high stars due to the increased drop rate of Z power, it's probably like one of the best feelings in the world, you know, just, you know, going, just segueing off of that point right here, we have this Ultra Gogeta. I have him at Red Star 1, dude. So they're, they're honestly, it's crazy with these banners because it's honestly kind of like realistic for even a free-to-play player. There's probably a free-to-play player out there in the world right now that has this ultra gogeta at 14 stars right i mean it probably they probably got really lucky or they saved up all of their cc for this exact moment but it's still crazy that it's in the realm of possibilities right there right because realistically i, what, I would only need two more copies here to get up to 14 stars two or three more copies i'm not too sure but he was dropping at 2000 z power a pop and so being able to get two i got one copy off of rotation 
And then I got another copy off a of single summit, off the daily discounts. That's why I always tell you guys, do those daily discounts are so clutch, man. And if you're wondering like how how I manage my CC here a little bit, it's simply that I summon on every banner, man. So definitely not the smartest thing to do, but because of me being a content creator, I summon on every banner. But the trick to it being is that I don't continuously summon on every banner, right? I, I throw one multi at it, and then I'll do dailies if they have dailies, like with the, the all-star banners. Right, that is really, I, I feel like that always works out for me well. And if I get the unit I want, I stop right there for the most part, right? These banners were an exception just because of the increased um, drop rate. But for the most part, if I get the unit I want, I hop out right then and there. That way I can save my CC for the next time a new banner comes out overall, right? And we also had this Princess Trunks right here, who I, I got pretty high stars just from um the, the third anniversary alone, right? The third anniversary unit's kind of falling off a little bit. This is a unit I want to get to 14 stars. You guys already know how much I, I love Goten as a character, right? He's probably my favorite character in the series. He means a lot to me. Like, he has, like, sentimental value to me, right? Because of my relationship with my father, right? So I really love this unit a lot. I want to get him to 14 stars. Um, you know, just going, keep going forward right here. We And then I, I was also, like, I'm going to be real honest. Like, I don't want to flex or anything like that. But we do have every single LF Zenkai available to us we have every Zen every lf unit that has a zenkai available to them i have them at seven stars and that's you know kind of crazy to me we have goten right here once again we have the super vegeto right here who actually i would even go as far as to consider this guy is basically free to play right because you did get 1800 z power for him for absolutely free so that's a four star drop i had him i think like at four stars or maybe at three stars i'm not too sure and so that's how i was able to get this guy zenkai i just pulled this guy today on the the legends limited new year's banner the one time only so i was finally able to go ahead and get his zenkai i just need to get his zenkai power from the shop i was also able to get this guy <laughs> to the zenkai level this year right i got him to zenkai 7 um you know majub he's getting up there as well majub easily became one of my favorite units top 17 right here as well he's a very i think yellow units are just a hot commodity right now right and just keep going down. Let's talk about some of these other units that kind of fell flat a little bit. Like this guy right here. I have him at seven stars, but I didn't really I don't really care about having him at seven stars. He's one of those units that I kind of hated on on release. And to be fair, he was honestly pretty good on release. I probably didn't he didn't necessarily deserve all the hate that I gave him on release, but he kind of aged poorly. Right, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he's definitely not the best unit on any of his teams at all. Right? He definitely isn't, right? I think I don't think that I had to prove that or not. And we also have Clap Q right here at seven stars. Shout out to Swift. Here, this is this is like one of my, this is what I love a lot too. These recent banners have just treated me so damn good, right? This Trunks, I got him to six stars. Now you're probably wondering like, why isn't he seven stars? I pulled one copy of him, and then after I pulled a single copy of him, I just only used a hundred Z power. Like I, I used a hundred Z power to get him all the way up to six stars. Right, so he went from four stars to six stars purely off of increments of 100 Z power. So I'm actually, he, he was a little bit of a grind right there. And you know, <laughs> that, that's what the game is all about. And then we also have this guy also at six stars. I didn't do too much of a grind on him. I got 600 Z power and then I was just like, okay, I'm putting that into him right now. Right, so he, he immediately went from four stars to six stars right there. Having both of those units at that level is was absolutely clutch to me because basically, Every so both the LFs that just recently came out, I was able to pull them, get them to six stars, get their a secondary Z ability, and then even with the Ultra Gogeta, I was able to get him to eleven stars or not eleven stars. I'm sorry, eight stars. And so that was a massive dub for me. This whole like end of the year celebration has been huge. And so that's pretty much a um, majority of the units right here that I have. You know, I was able to pull Gogeta Blue finally. You know, I was able to get Revival Gohan. I've been eating pretty good this year in dragon ball legends like it's been a really good year for me even with this corrupted zamasu i didn't have this guy third anniversary right I, I summoned for him right i summoned for him but i wasn't able to pull him although now like looking back at it he's only 200 z power away from being six stars and that's gonna come soon right i can get him slowly but surely up there with the legends weekend medals so he's at five stars right now getting close to six stars but from going from zero stars and getting him to this level just in the course of one month like 
that's absolutely absurd to me even with the Majin Vegeta I didn't have Majin Vegeta prior to the celebration and now he's at six stars as well I know he's more of an outdated unit but he's still a unit that I wanted overall because I am kind of like a collector I want these units we even got the Nappa right here and we, we go scroll we get down to the bottom of the list now and these are the only units I'm missing right like I, I feel like that's absolutely crazy to me we only we are only missing uh, six units right here I have seven units including that mine that I was talking about earlier and you know so it's Kid Buu I'm actually kind of surprised that this guy hasn't showed up in my summons just yet because he came out very early on in the year right he, he came out like what right after the future Gohan and I, I really did want him he looks like a lot of fun I still see him in PvP today so I wouldn't mind getting him in the future or anything like that but dude like not I'm not having him isn't the end of, end of the world for me at all this guy I really did want him a lot he's become pretty uh like relevant in the meta today but once again he didn't want to show so i honestly i was getting a little scared because these are the units um some of these units down here are some of the ones that were coming out after third anniversary and i was just absolutely getting shafted on their banners this evo vegeta desperately wanted him this grade 8 vegeta desperately wanted him you guys don't even know how long i've wanted a grade 8 unit in the game and you know even down to the cell i used to be an androids main Right before Android 18 even got her Zenkai, I was an Android's main. I had Zenkai 16, and I had the the Perfect Form Cell, the or the Revival Cell. That was basically those two units were carrying my Android team for the longest time until Android 18 came out. And you know, so I wanted to go ahead and throw back and go back to that cell. I think he's a little bit controversial because he was placed in Z tier. Right, <laughs> I, as soon as he released, I didn't think he was Z tier, but I still wanted him nonetheless. And this stretchy arms Piccolo, he's the only L that I say I had taken on the um, the All Star banners. If you look at the All Star banners, I have every single All Star banner unit except for this guy. I was able to pull every single one except for this guy. I got the um, the Bird Q, I got the, the the Revival Gohan, the green one, as well as the Nappa. And so this guy was the only one missing on my list right here. And if we take off all of the the Sparking slash Ultra, all the filters, you can see these are the only missing characters I have right here right like just just those seven out of all the characters in the game i am only missing seven that's huge we can actually go ahead and take a look at order received right here too just to go ahead and see who i got as of lately as of recently right so i barely pulled this gogeta blue at three stars right here i wanted him for a long time i barely got this nova barely got this nappa of course i got the gogeta barely got the this zamasu right here got the bird coup and so you know i, I really do I think I'm gonna stick to this method that I've been doing like as a content creator just summoning one time right just at least get throw one multi at every banner and you know if I really want the unit I'll go in even harder and because you can tell that there is so much CC to be found in the game I know it's kind of like in a PV or a pay to win state right now because of all these extremely strong units like people are just gunning for 14 stars and I can't really hate on that because that's more so on the devs part part it's more so their fault for making the game the way it is. I can't blame you, the players, for going out of your way to get these broken units to 14 stars, right? But, like, honestly, there is a lot of CC to be found overall in the game right now. And another thing that I kind of do is I kind of just build up all of my CC. I save my CC. Uh, even though I summon on every banner, I make sure to know when to stop. I think that's the most important part of it. I make sure to know when to stop man if i if i throw one multi at a all-stars banner and i don't get what i want i'm like screw it i'm only going to be doing dailies until the the banner goes away e and even then at the end of the at the end of the banner even if i don't get who i want i'm just like okay well he'll come later on and that's i mean it's proven to be true right that's basically what happens here and then on the celebration ones i basically i do one rotation get the tickets from pity and that's that's it right there too if i don't get him i don't get him i'm just like i'll wait till he comes back around and hopefully i'll get another shot at him you know so <laughs> that's basically how i go about playing the game obviously you don't have to play the game like i play the game but dude honestly like this this account man let me know in the comments down below do you have a better account than me as a free-to-play player because i want to know because i i don't know too many free-to-play players out there i do know some crazy free-to-play players like i know some uh, i have some personal friends of mine that they save for like nearly the entire year or they'll save for like six months at a time to where they're only summoning on anniversary banners or they're only summoning on like the legends festival banners and so they have some really really stacked accounts and they they honestly might have higher star ls than me but they won't have the same amount of units as me right so it kind of like balances out in that way shape or form 
So let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this is the best free to play account? Do you think it's not the best free to play account? Do you have a better free to play account? And thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year's. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.